Good morning, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. How are you guys today? Well, so far, it's kind of a gloomy day here in Los Angeles, but I don't mind it. I love those kind of days uh, because I had a great day yesterday. Um, as you guys could tell, I had a pretty eventful day. I got to tell you guys about the history of one of the greatest wax figure pioneers of all time. And then I got to go have a great meal and get what I had for breakfast this morning at Voodoo Donuts. And my date was awesome if you guys were wondering and it was so awesome that we're actually gonna have uh, another date today because she's off today as well so we're gonna meet up and I'm gonna surprise her because she went to go for a walk we were gonna try and have that picnic that we talked about and um, I'm gonna surprise her because we're gonna go for a long walk and we're gonna end up at the high school where they filmed the carnival from Greece at the end, the whole, you're the one that I want, Shamalama Ding Dong, that whole thing. We're gonna go do that today, and I know she loves Greece because she was watching it this week, so, Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. Well, we've made it to John Marshall High School, a high school that is known for quite a few movies, but we're not gonna do all of them today. Like I said, we're only gonna do Grease, but I wanted to show you one thing since we're here. Well, clearly they're doing work on the front, but what I wanted to show you guys was this. Okay, so, one of the last photos of Elizabeth Shore at the Black Dahlia was actually taken right there. So I wanna show you on my phone, here's the photo. Can you guys see that? All right, well this is the photo that we're actually matching up. This is Elizabeth Shore at the Black Dahlia in 1946, sitting right here on this step at Marshall High School. My date is, happens to be a fan of the story and history and the Black Dahlia and so we thought well since we're here we should just match up that same exact shot. Now like I said we're gonna go see the uh, the carnival scene like the pretty much the final ending scene the scene where we see Sandra D come out sassy Sandra D in that black light tight leather pair of pants which she actually was sewn into that morning. And this is just like, I think everybody when they were in high school, since this movie came out has just, you had to have seen this. This was like the epitome of like the best high school musical, upbeat, high energy movie there ever was. And a legendary performance by John Travolta. Now what's pretty crazy about this film that I actually didn't know was that Princess Leia, Carrie Fisher herself, was at one point considered for the part of Sandra D. Well, here we go. This field is where they actually filmed all of those dance scenes for the end. The, You're the one that I want and Shamalama Ding Dong. Now, what I thought was pretty awesome was that they said that that energy that you saw in the movie, that was all real. That wasn't like, hey guys, get the energy up. Everybody was so excited to be a part of this movie that they just, they were all high energy all the time and they were so into it that they said when they filmed these scenes out here, this whole carnival scene, which normally if you've ever known anything about movies, usually that would be a day or two for that much footage. They said it was so effortless that they actually wrapped it in like an afternoon whereas some of the smaller dance scenes would actually take like a full day or so. And you can kind of match up and I'll show you different scenes where these bleachers, you can see the corner of the building, you can actually see those houses in the background. And some of the shots when they're dancing. And like I said, um, this part originally was going to go to 
Carrie Fisher or was at least considered because what they said was that that the guy who is directing this movie it was his first movie and his roommate was George Lucas and George Lucas was doing Star Wars so this guy had seen her performance and said like she's the one but they ended up wanting to go with Olivia Newton-John however what they said was that um, Olivia Newton-John thought that she was terrible on film so she actually didn't want to um, accept the part without um, doing like a screen test or meeting the other actors because she said I just thought I would ruin the movie so they actually had her meet with John Travolta and once they met it was like an instant chemistry and she wasn't even actually supposed to be doing any of the dancings for this but once they found out the choreographer found out that Sandra D you know Olivia Newton-John could actually dance they said well, we've got to write some numbers for for her to dance and so they did the uh, the uh, hand jive scene and then they wrote all this and what they said was Olivia Newton-John said you know the reason that I really wanted to do this was because I liked the contrast in the character I love the idea of seeing her as this goody two-shoes for a big chunk of the movie and then at the end she comes out in this all black sassy outfit and that was actually her choice she was the one that went to the wardrobe and said like these are the kind of things I'm thinking of wearing let's do all black and they said that she was so beloved and was so sweet on the set that when she showed up right here on this field to do those scenes like everybody just flocked to her all the crew members like immediately had this whole different look at her like she was just this totally sexy woman And um, what I loved about this was that once I read up on it and um, started reading about some of the stories, they said that, you know, obviously this was a, a hit on Broadway. And every school had done a performance of this and everything, so when they brought it to the screen, Jeff Conaway was actually a Broadway actor who just had a natural chemistry with John Travolta, so they cast him. Travolta wanted to do it. I mean, he said, I, I love that, you know, that prep versus greasers thing. And I mean, he was perfect for it. He's 23 years old and just had an amazing charisma. I don't think anybody could have played Danny Zuko any better than John Travolta did, for sure. And, um, and it just went down as one of those classic movies of all time some of the most classic songs I mean like I said I don't know that any high school kid hasn't been forced to watch this at some point and uh, what a classic piece of history to think that all those dances would have been done right here and I also uh, saw an interview with uh, Rizzo where she said when we were gonna put those hickeys on my neck Kaniki said, you know, I think I think that I should be putting those on if those are going to be for me. So he actually did put those on himself. Now, one of the other things they said was that the director really wanted this to feel like a true high school movie, even though like all the actors were pretty much in their mid to late 20s, if not 30s. In fact, one of the actresses, um, they had to dye her hair because she was getting gray hairs already. But they said that he wouldn't even refer to the, uh, the background actors by their name, he gave all of the background actors and all the dancers and everybody um, character names from the school, like Moose or whatever, that they would be referred to so that he could just refer to them as those characters. And if they would have done all this right here, and like I said, I'm gonna grab a few scenes here and there and I'll match up some of the, um, the houses in the background, this building in the background where the bleachers meet, and you can see all that stuff. But I just thought, man, how cool to come out and see the actual field where that whole, phenomenal like so well-known dance scene was performed and the whole carnival scene with um, Sid Caesar all those classic dances right there can't even imagine one afternoon like a matter of hours they hammered out something so memorable and I really kind of lucked out today because every time I've ever come over here this field is not open and for some reason they're having some sort of soccer 
training camp or something here so we're able to get a little bit of footage and I'll be able to match up a lot of the dance scenes and backgrounds from from the movie through this so we're trying to make our way around the uh, entirety of the field since they actually have it open for once that is a lot of shoes up there in that tree for a school even some football cleats Wow, I can't believe we're looking at the same field. Isn't that crazy? Can you imagine the Shake Shack out here? Them dancing up and down those steps. Classic. Sorry I couldn't use the music in here guys and I had to silence it, but you get it. You can see that house in the shot. taking this guy for a part of the walk getting his sunlight it is a hot one out here today let me tell you Woo! all right well I'm just uh, departing from my date another good time this is insane. I'm watching this report right now about the Las Vegas shooting and it's the most deadly massacre in U.S. history. It's unreal. Well, right now they're saying almost 60 are dead, um, over 500 injured, and this looks to be a lone gunman, um, not an act of foreign terrorism, though they say that the the lines of um, domestic terrorism are very blurry. Um, I don't understand this kind of stuff. They're also requesting if you're in the Las Vegas area and you're able to go donate blood, please do. They're in, uh, they're in need of some extra blood if you can. Well, gang, I'm going to call it a night, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the field from Greece. I know that is uh, something that probably a lot of you will enjoy, and... Uh, for a date, I thought it would be kind of a fun idea since she wanted to go vlogging, so there you go. We saw one of the most memorable scenes from one of the most memorable musicals of all time. Um, on a sad note, my heart goes out to all the people in Las Vegas and um, just everything that's going on right there right now and the people that are trying to come to grips with it. So if this is affecting you, I hope that, um, I hope that you can find some peace. Um, I'm going to call it a night. Until tomorrow, have a great night from Hollywood, California. I wanted to thank um, Kathleen Horner and Dottie Anaya for becoming my newest Patreons. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, tomorrow we're going to go... I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. I have a couple of ideas, but... Got to get that car worked on. Got to get it all figured out. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night.